Emmanuel. Today is another day that the Lord has made, and we want to do a little bit of good to change the bad that we see. Remember, love never gets tired of doing good because that love is the strength of God. And like the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua says, love always looks around. Love always searches to see who is in need. And that's what we're doing today here in the United States of America in uh, the state of Ohio. We got a special event tonight whereby we're going into the low income neighborhoods and some of the disabled and some of the elderly and we're providing them with some goods. We got some, as you can see right here, we got some uh, uh, got some live produce. We actually have some um, some baskets of uh, uh, groceries. And the reason why we got baskets of groceries is because a lot of the elderly has expressed to us that they really need some baskets for laundry as well. So we're able to accomplish two things at one time. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we have here. Uh, uh, of course, we have macaroni and cheese. Um, of course, we have chips. We have bread. Um, we want you to see. Uh, we have eight pound bag of potatoes. So that's gonna be good for them um, as well. As you can see, we have the bananas. And um, as you can see, we have just some water in here for them as well. And if you look over here, we basically have um, for the backpack program for some of the youth we actually have the Emmanuel TV backpacks so we have that as well the backpack program is basically um, as you can see it's a backpack it's the Emmanuel TV backpack that says keep watching Emmanuel TV changing lives changing nations changing the world but it also have all the social media contacts such as the Facebook TBJ Ministries Twitter it also has the YouTube contact. It has uh, the main uh, uh, website as well, um, Instagram, and also emailing info at Emmanuel.tv. So we have this so that people can really stay connected. But this backpack program is basically for the students. It's for um, elementary students and the middle uh, school students and the high school students. And we got this backpack program for them because many of them are able to go, when they go to school, that's when they're eating. They're able to eat their lunch. Um, some of them can get breakfast, but most of them don't. They're able to eat their lunch. But many of them, when they're coming back home, they're coming into an environment where they're not having food, um, especially on the weekend. So therefore, what has happened is that the man of God has made it possible and uh, provided the resources so that we will be able to help these young people stay healthy and not have to worry about uh, food and so forth and go ahead uh, to school and get an education. So what we want to do is we want to show you some of the things that we have for the backpack program. So of course, you're going to see right here we have um, waters. We make sure that they, you know, we make sure that they have waters. We make sure, um, you know, healthy, healthy drinks. We make sure that they have that, okay? We make sure that they're getting um, uh, packs of oatmeal, okay? That's a good breakfast. Um, also, cheese crackers um, as well. Making sure that they have some granola bars, okay? Um, also, as we come over here, we'll show you that we make sure that they have, uh, making sure that they have some noodles. These are things that they can basically um, uh, provide for themselves real quick. Uh, meals, basically, okay? We make sure that they have uh, some cereals, okay? As you can see here. Making sure that they have some boxes of cereal, all right? One of the other things is um, just you know, want them to be as most healthy as possible. So therefore we have these real cheese sticks. Um, also yogurt packs. We make sure that they have that as well. But uh, for meat, for meat, as you can see, uh, cans of uh, tuna. All right. Um, also uh, canned sausage. All right. Have that as well. Um, 
one of the other things is this right here is that um, the parents can also put this on um, and this is basically a vegetable barley soup that's already been put together they just pour it all in and then this right here is enough to serve 10 full meals okay it is very good. We tried it ourselves and it's very delicious. It's a vegetable barley soup, okay? So they're getting this type of stuff as well, all right? And um, basically for, you know, some pudding, just some other healthy, healthy little items, um, applesauce, and then, you know, some snacks. When it comes to some snacks, they got, you know, graham crackers, okay? Also, then just some fruit snacks they have these as well okay and then you know just some some snacks as far as chips and so forth all right and that's what happens with the backpack program so once again and they'll be able to take this backpack and basically come every yeah, uh, every time they need food they are able to come back with the uh, backpack and we're able to continue to fill it okay so that's what the backpack program is about, the manual TV backpack. Okay, and I also want to show you something else that we have that's going to be in the uh, baskets as well. So come this way. At the food pantry located inside the Emanuel TV USA office, the Emanuel TV team removed frozen packs of meat from the deep freezer, wearing protective masks and gloves. Through the assistance of Prophet TV Joshua and Emmanuel TV partners, the pantry is always fully stocked with various food items in preparation to carry out Christ's mission to feed the needy. After being removed from the freezer, they tear open the larger packs of frozen meat. One by one, the frozen hamburger patties, chicken fingers, tenders, and other meat are carefully placed into individual bags for each person who will receive it. The Emanuel TV team give their quality time, quality love and care, knowing that when you give love in truth, you are planting seeds that will be multiplied back to you. As Christians, we should spend more on others and less on ourselves. That is the only way that we can commit more faith and love in the society of which we are a part. Love looks around to see those who are in need, and these packs of frozen meat are just one of the many items that the Emmanuel TV team are planning to distribute to those in need. The book of James says that we must back up our faith with good deeds. For faith without good deeds is dead, and our faith works by love. Therefore, we should love for God's sake and be loved. Help for God's sake and be helped. Be kind for God's sake and receive kindness. Of all this meat that's going to be given away, so this meat actually as it has uh, hamburger patties, um, it has chicken fingers and chicken tenders as well. Then we have other patties of chicken also. So we just, we just have a whole lot here, a lot of meat that's gonna do good um, for them as well. So you see we have a whole tote full of this um, as well. So that's what we're doing today. So we're gonna carry you along. We're gonna make sure that you're able to see everything that's going on. And so Emmanuel, stay in faith. The team effort continues inside the Emmanuel TV USA office facilities as the Emmanuel TV team lays out backpacks and baskets for the Emmanuel TV backpack program. The blue Emmanuel TV backpacks are neatly arranged in an orderly manner on the floor. Next up, it's time to fill the baskets with the foodstuffs provided by TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners. Bags of potatoes are the first items to be loaded into the baskets, and each basket gets its own bag. These baskets are a twofold blessing. 
they are not only for carrying the food items, but can be reused for laundry purposes. Here come some more food items. Ripe bananas, a good source of fiber and energy for the grateful receivers. Loaves of bread are the next food item, followed by... Looks like tortilla chips. A variety of chips are available. The next task at hand involves loading the grocery baskets into the vehicles in preparation for the charity event. Once all the items have been loaded, the Emanuel TV team are set and make their journey to the charity event. And finally, they arrive at the venue for the event, the Middletown Public Housing Complex. The Emanuel TV team begin to offload the baskets of food items from the vehicles. The needy residents of the housing complex come out to attend the charity event and line up eagerly waiting to receive the goods from the Emanuel TV team. Love has a language that transcends all languages, cultures, barriers and distance. Love is the greatest Christian virtue.
Emmanuel viewers, indeed, God is with us. And, of course, we're reporting live all the way from the U.S. We're here in Ohio. We're in the city of Middletown. And I've got some very special guests with us right now. And I'm going to start by first just basically asking his name. Brother, can you tell me your name? Jeff Singletary. Okay, Jeff. Uh, tell me where you're from. Uh, Hamilton, Ohio. Okay, you're from Hamilton. Yes. Okay, good, good. Now, I, I just want to be able to ask you, um, what do you think about today? You saw what happened. We was able to come in and... You know, give some groceries and some cash gifts. There are about 80 apartments here in this building. And people really came out, you know, by the, by the masses and, and really uh, partook. So tell me, tell me how you feel about that. Well, I think it was a God-sent thing, and uh, it was a blessing, you know. Some of us here are struggling, not mm -hmm. as fortunate as others, and uh, mm -hmm. what you guys do is beautiful, man. Well, thank beautiful. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we got so tell me the different people that we got here. I know we, um, I know we have people that are disabled. Yes. Uh, what are some of the other conditions that? Well, we we have the elderly, the elderly, the disabled, mm -hmm. uh, the people that's um, unemployed, mm -hmm. people that are homeless, people who are just struggling, just trying to, mm -hmm. you know, scraping finger to toe, trying to make it every day in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just doing what we can to survive. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that uh, some of the people that uh, came in and, and partook of the groceries and, and the cash gifts, uh, some of them actually just help other people as well uh, as far as staying with them, right? They're like, um, I, I know it, it's so like if you've got a one-bedroom or a two-bedroom, it's not like you have a mansion, but many of you are letting other people kind of uh, stay with them at times, right? Oh, yes, yes. This building, I mean, it's like 84, 86 apartments, but... Black, white, all different races. It don't matter, red, blue, green, or yellow. We mm -hmm. all stick together, and whatever it takes, 
if I'm eating, you can eat. If I have a shirt, you don't have one, you mm -hmm. can get one, vice versa. Mm -hmm. We just look out for each other. Oh, well, great. Well, great. Well, and that's what we're seeing because we saw um, everybody come and, and, and partake. That goes without words. I could never thank you enough, but TB Joshua, oh, you man. are a blessing to us and many others. God bless you and for everything that you did. All right. Well, you heard it from my brother, and I want you to know that you know, a relationship is supposed to be for a lifetime. I'm hoping this one will be. So we will continue. I, I would okay. love that. Okay, very thank you very much. You're welcome. Emmanuel viewers, so here we are once again, and I got a very special guest. Uh, of course, today we just uh, did an event of being able to feed uh, this um, housing uh, development. Uh, it's about 86 uh, apartments that's in this building. And got a very special sister that uh, came aboard and began to help us. And she put her hands in and just began to tote bags to different apartments of the ones that could not come down and take up the groceries. So she's done a great job. And I want to start by asking her name. Sister, what's your name? My name is Eunice Thomas. Okay, Eunice. Uh, tell, me, tell me where you're from. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Wow, okay, so you're from Cincinnati, and uh, Cincinnati, of course, we know is about 35 minutes, right? 35, 40 no, minutes? About 35, 40 minutes. 35, 40 minutes. And um, just tell us about, you know, what did you, what did you experience today? What did you see? People needed you. Uh, it was a blessing that you guys came or what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of people struggling, as myself. Mm -hmm. You know, no in some people have no income. Mm -hmm. Some people... Disabled, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get disability. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm a widow mm -hmm. also. It's a lot of elderly people. It's a lot of people with kids. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that work that still can't make ends meet. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people they team up as far as household or whatever mm -hmm. to try to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. So anything they could be helped with, they, mm -hmm. they grateful. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. You said a mouthful right there because you were saying that, um, you know, yourself being a widow, and and um, you're waiting on assistance to really get some help. Mm -hmm. um, so when you when you see um, charity organizations like this, it's a big help to come in, right? I appreciate it. And uh, see, before y'all came, I was really depressed and wow. and and didn't know what mm -hmm. what today or tomorrow was gonna bring. Wow. And when y'all came, you brightened me up and and. Thank you. Wow, wow. Thank well, you. well we, we thank you so much. And, and um, you know, this support comes all the way from Nigeria, from um, uh, yeah. the men of God, T.B. Joshua. T.B. Joshua, thank you very much. Thank you. And if there's anything I could do beyond this, don't hesitate to, you know, contact me. And, you know, I'm available. Well, once again, my sister, we thank you so very much. <laughs> and we thank you for putting your hands to uh, the plow and really help us feed all the different ones today. Oh, so yeah. once again, once again, Emmanuel viewers, um, right here in Middletown, Ohio, just doing a little bit of good to change the bad that we see. Emmanuel. Good evening. I'm sorry. Okay, God bless you. Oh, 
Got your bag. Is it one bag? <laughs> oh. Good yet. Oh. Right. There's a gentleman who needs to be able okay. to bring him up. Oh. Okay. Uh, bag of groceries and a small bag. Oh. Okay. Hey, okay. this is Tim, right? Yeah. How you doing? Good. Good. Okay. 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 Appreciate it. Okay. Well, God bless you, okay? God bless you. Okay. Here's a small cash gift for you. Okay. Wow. Thank you. I'll okay? take care, okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. The Emmanuel TV team commenced the Emmanuel TV backpack program, delivering the Emmanuel TV backpacks to students at the Lakota Point Government Housing Estate, Ohio, USA. Emmanuel viewers, so here we are once again. We are here in the Westchester area um, of Ohio. It's a subdivision of uh, the Cincinnati area. And this is Lakota Point. It is a government housing uh, project uh, right across from the school. So this is where one of the places where we're doing the backpack program. It is Friday and we have come out and we've made sure that all the youth have gotten a backpack with uh, six different meals um, in there. Many of them are from broken homes. Many of them are, are in a home where only it's the mother and themselves. So therefore, it's all because of the generosity of the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, and the Emmanuel TV partners have assisted us and provided the resources to be able to support them and to let them know that they should stay in school. That's the message from the man of God. They should stay in school and that when their purpose is clear, their life will have meaning. This is the message that we're passing on to them, that when their purpose, when their dreams and their goals are clear, then their life will have meaning. And to also let them know, never underestimate the mind that when you decide what you want to do, then your mind will help you figure out how to do it. So this is the message that we've been passing off to them and we will continue. You've seen many of them get their uh, Emmanuel TV backpacks and um, every week we will continue to fill it up for them, um, especially on the weekends, fill it up for them because many of them only really eat when they go to school. A lot of them, when they come back home, it's more of a challenge. Many of them are home by themselves and so forth because uh, being in single parent homes, a lot of times the parent have to work. And so therefore we're providing uh, meals for them that is very easy for them to make themselves. Okay, so once again, Emmanuel, indeed God is with us. So remember, as we said before, we're passing on these encouraging words. Um, we know that uh, we've seen a lot of things happen from teen suicide to just uh, youth uh, committing suicide. And it's all because many of them, uh, the peer pressure, they did not measure up to one another's standards. So uh, the message that we pass on is don't allow yourself to be defined by the opinions of others. Love yourself value yourself this is very important we pass on the message that uh, as the man of God prophet TB Joshua says your dream is a photograph of your future yes that's right it's a glimpse into your future your dream is a glimpse into your future and when you're going through hard times it's that dream that will help sustain you through these troubled times we also pass on the message of uh, you're born choosers and not losers your born choosers are not losers, yet the decisions and the choices that you make every day will affect your tomorrow. So once again, these are the messages that we are passing on to uh, the students as we refill their backpacks and, or, and give out the, to the, the backpack program. Henry Ford said, 100 years from now, the only thing that matters is if we've made a difference in the life of a child. And because of the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, that's what's happening right now. We're able to make a difference 
in the lives of these students, in the lives of these children, that many of them are, of course, going home in single-parent homes, um, coming from broken families as well. So we just want them to know. We just want to encourage them to stay in school. And we want you to know that nothing is too big and nothing is too small. Every little bit counts. So another thing we want you all to um, notice is that each, in each backpack, every student has a small cash gift on the inside. And it's simply because we want to be a father to the fatherless. We want to do our part and be a father to the fatherless. We can be a brother to the brotherless. You can be a sister to the sisters. And once again, it just shows that every little bit counts. So you'll be able to see a lot of them sometimes. You see them, they look inside, they jump, they smile, they have the wild look on their face because um, on the inside, you know, we've also been able to make sure that they have a small cash gift on the inside. And um, these little things is just, little things mean a lot. Emmanuel, indeed, God is with us, and we're here at Lakota Point. It's the um, it's a subdivision of uh, basically the uh, Cincinnati area, and we got a very special sister here. Sister, can you tell me how old you are? I'm 15. 15, wow. And let me get your name. My name is Zymir. Zymir. All right, and I was speaking with her, and she was just letting me know uh, she her dreams and her goals are clear. So I want her to pretty much tell you what she wanna, what she's basically going to be. Um, I want to be an entrepreneur, and I want to be, like, the biggest WNBA basketball star, girl basketball star, and I, I believe I can pursue that dream. Yes, yes, and, and we believe that as well. Um, you know, we are we are sponsored and supported um, by someone that actually lets us know that when you decide what you want to do, then your mind will help you figure out how to do it. You know what I mean? Right. So it seems like you have decided that on what you wanted to do. So don't let anybody stop you from your dream, from your goal. And uh, we will continue to be coming out and supporting you. You know, make sure you keep your Emmanuel TV uh, backpack so we can keep supporting you, you know, every week. Okay? Thank you. All right. So look into the camera and say hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, okay. When we are in the business of giving charitably, I mean sowing into other people's lives, God, who is the dispenser of all good, would give us, in his mercy, abundance of good, so that we might enjoy the sufficiency and abound in good works.